Well, welcome to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and this is a bonus video. I'm actually recording it live. I've got a bunch of people on live with me tonight, so you could watch this in the live video from uh, June 8th right here on the channel, or you can just watch this on my Hyperdeck mini-series right here on the channel. So thank you so much for joining me. Again, this is the first of many bonus um, features here on the Hyperdeck right here in the studio. And I hope that you're learning lots about it and you can make a decision if that's the perfect tool for you for your setup or not. And be, I'll be happy to answer any questions if you leave them here on the channel. So what I'm going to do tonight is I want to share with you the recording functions of the Hyperdeck. I want to give a shout out to all the people that are online with me tonight. Um, I have... Um, Let's see who all is on here tonight. I have, going back to the beginning, I got um, Indy on with me, and I've got Freddie Ponce with me. I have um, Bill uh, Serino, uh, Serrano. I think I'm saying that right, Bill. Um, I have Stop and Think on here. It's Hank. I'm um, just joined in. And um, I have Erdem, um, and um, he just got a uh, hyperdeck, which is exciting. Um, let's see if I'm missing anybody else. I got Kevin Crawley on with me tonight as well. And I think I hit everybody. Guys, let me know if I didn't. So um, they're on my live stream, but I announced that I was going to do this little Hyperdeck video right here live. So I have my phone here. And if you've been on my channel before, I like to talk about how you can use an app called Filmic Pro. Uh, it is a paid for app that's available in the, in the Apple store. So I'm going to fire that up right now. And so it looks like this when it's loading up. And now it is um, capable of doing video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an adapter. And if you don't know this, the HyperDeck Mini not only is a playing device, right? And it can do uh, motion graphics, which you can find on my um, HyperDeck Mini series. But you can also input video in it and record it. It's a recorder as well. And so I shared even in that series how you could have a number of HyperDecks. You could have one dedicated to lower thirds graphics. And um, why would you use it for lower thirds graphics? Because you can motion use motion graphics. So you can have something fly in the screen or you could have a turning planet, all kinds of things that you could do. So if you're, if you're a gamer or you're a live streamer or you're doing video production or maybe live events, it's kind of cool to have a logo, maybe a lower thirds that has an animation in it in the background. So in order to do that, you have to have a, a device that will play video, and the HyperDeck is just one of them. But it was designed by Blackmagic Design to specifically do these things. So not only can it play back a video, it can also play back motion graphics. And it has two channels that you can use for the graphics. One would be a fill channel, which is what is you want everybody to see. And the other is what we call a key channel, which cuts out the background so it makes that graphic or whatever you have flying in, it makes it more clear. And so we talked about that here and you can check out those videos, but it also has a input on the back, which is SDI and you have to convert that. So go back to my second video in the series and I show you that device. It is by Blackmagic Design and I'm converting HDMI, right? which comes out of my camera. Now my Canon cameras that I use in the studio have a mini HDMI jack. So I have a mini to HDMI converter, and then I can plug the other end of this cable into the camera, and then I can bring it into my HDMI to SDI 6G converter by Blackmagic Design, and that's a little higher end than the regular converters because it will let you bring in 4K because the HyperDeck can record at 30 frames per second 4K. So if you have a camera that does like a clean HDMI out, and you have the ability to record that to the HyperDeck, that could be the perfect solution for you when you're producing your videos or doing a live event. Or let's say you're hosting a live event that has a number of different speakers and you wanna hand them off a, a 4K recording, then you could give them a one camera 4K recording from your HyperDeck right as they finish speaking. And then you could plug in another SD card to record the next person speaking. So like a TED event or a conference or even a wedding, um, you could record just the ceremony um, that's happening on the stage and record that on a separate SD card and be able to hand that to the bride right before they leave so they have that part of the vows. And then you could produce everything else later for them. 
but that would give them a 4K memory right then and there. So how do you get then a phone or your iPad in to your computer? I mean, excuse me, or your computer, you could use a CamLink um, converter that would go from HDMI to USB. But in the Blackmagic ATEMs, you want to convert the HDMI to um, regular um, cables like this, which you can get from Apple. And then that will take you right into your either your iPhone or your iPad. And so I first want to demo this on my phone. So I'll, I'll put, put this up so you guys can see it. So I'm going to plug this lightning adapter, HDMI to lightning. It also has a lightning adapter right there so you could power it so you don't lose your camera. And now I could be using my phone as a camera in my studio. So I want to demo that here real quick. So let's um, push the record button. And so now you can see my graphic playing because this is the play mode, but I don't want play mode, right? I want to have the mode that lets me record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this now. So you can see the graphic stop. I'm gonna hit the record button. And now you're gonna see this image go live, right? And so if I hold it up to the hyperdeck, all I had to do is push record and it switches over to input mode. And so now I can record what's on this camera. Now I told you earlier, I don't wanna leave my main disc in there because that has my outro reel for my live tonight. So let me switch this back and I'm gonna change disc. So I plug the second disc in. And now if I hit record again, I'm recording right now. So there you see it recording. You can see the countdown and it is recording to disc number two. So if I wanted to record this picture that I have from my iPhone or anything in the studio, now I could pan around, there's my iPad, there is my laptop, here is my key lights that I talked about in my live stream, my BenQ monitor showing you not only the HyperDeck image on the top left, I have multi-view up here on the top right, and I have the stream right there, and then I have my other camera, and here's kind of a pan of my studio. I'll duck down here. There's my big Samsung TV, not quite in focus, um, but a quick view of the studio real quickly, and then back to my desk. So you can easily hit record and start recording. So I have my iPhone set right now to 4K, and so I'm recording in 4K to the HyperDeck. And you can go in, I'm gonna hit stop here. So when I hit stop, it stops recording. And now I can go into the menu system and I can hit set, I can hit set again, and I can change to all these different codecs right here on the front. And I can record at any one of these. And if we go to the very bottom, you can actually see that I can actually record to H.264 which was added not too long ago. So um, it dropped just for a second. So now if I hit play again, and I'm gonna show you guys this, if I hit play of this, the picture is gonna go away and we're gonna come back to the play mode. And so now um, it's frozen because that's the video I recorded. So. Let me hit play, let me go to menu, I'll play and see what happens. So there you go, that's what I was recording. And um, so you can record in the HyperDeck, you can come in from your phone or from your iPad and you're able to do things like this. And so here's me talking about the HyperDeck, you can see the camera moving and I just recorded that live here in this recording. So all you have to do is hit the record button once and it clicks into what I call record mode. So you can see the input from your iPhone and you can plug this again right into a camera, but you do have to get the HDMI to 6G converter. Now you can see me doing the tour right now, which you guys already saw. But so you can use uh, SuperSource right now in the ATEM Extreme and ISO and set up a setting like this um, and um, be able to assign to that third box your HyperDeck input, which I am using seven in my ATEM Extreme right now, ISO. So uh, we'll switch back to this other super source. So uh, in the software, you have certain options to 
um, control, which I've shared before. So right here on the right-hand side, you have the ability to stop. It's playing right now. So if I hit this again, it'll stop playing and I can choose which track. Right now it only sees one track, but as I pull that card out and I plug my other card in, the one I'm protecting, you can see there's my videos for tonight. I have my intro, my outro, and my Warp Me In, which if you go back and watch the live stream from June 8th on my channel, you'll be able to see me warp in at the beginning of our show as the clock um, runs down. So let me take that card back out and plug the other card back in. And so I can keep recording on the HyperDeck, whatever my input is. So let me unplug my phone, right? And I'll go back into the chat on the phone. And now I'm plugging in um, my iPad and I wanna bring up something else here. We'll turn on my downstream key here and um, show you that here in a minute. I'm gonna tie it to my main camera. Um, and the way I did that, if you watch on the software, is I have my, um, my downstream key assigned to my HyperDeck channel seven. So let me show you that real quick. So we're gonna go to palettes up here. We're gonna scroll down to my downstream key. Turn Transitions off, here's my downstream key. And you can see I have it set to HyperDeck Fill and HyperDeck Key. I don't have a mask on and I don't have it pre-multiplied. Um, but again, it's on and ready. So I've tied that to the next transition, which is gonna be my camera too. And now watch what happens when we switch away from Super Source to that transition. I wanna turn this key off, which is my logo. And um, I can always tie that back in when I transition back. But let's go right now to um, that transition. So there I am back. Hit record on the HyperDeck, my bad, <laughs> and draw on the screen. So there you go. You see the little line on my chin? So if you were doing a training, right, then you could choose a place on the screen to draw and um, so I could scoot off to the side and let's see where that draws. I can make this pen bigger and um, draw on the screen, but I have the ability now to draw all over myself. And this could be a great tool if you wanted to do something like a demo or draw something on the screen. And I've watched some of my um, peers do those kind of demos and um, you do see a couple little icons on the left-hand side. Um, it's because when I turn my iPad over, it pops those on and you see some on the top, but I can get rid of all that stuff by going to a clean setting in here. But I just wanted to show you that one of the things you can do is bring in your iPad and then you could use apps like this and actually use your keys to bring them on the air in the middle of your broadcast. And one of the reasons why everybody likes to procreate is it has the ability to put this creed clean image on the screen. And um, so let me just get out of this. So now you're back just to me. So not only can you bring it in, now the reason I'm using the HyperDeck, you don't have to, you could have brought that in any channel in your ATEM, but the HyperDeck is already using up two of my channels. I have the, the alpha channel and the key channel. Um, and so it's taken up channel seven and eight. So if I want to bring in something like my iPhone as another camera or my iPad, then I can just simply come in the input functions of the HyperDeck. So you can record to it, you can play, play videos from it, you can play motion graphics on it and um, use your keys to do that, or you can actually use it as an input for a camera, but you do have to convert whatever your camera is or your iPad or your iPhone is. You gotta convert that from HDMI to SDI and you can come in 1080p and use a regular SDI 3G converter, or you can buy a 6G converter like I have, and I'll show you that here real quick on my desk. And so this is my adapter. So two of these adapters are 3G, and that's what's converting the HyperDeck two outputs, the key and the fill. Those are converted from SDI to HDMI, and then they go into the back of my HyperDeck in channel seven and eight, and you can see those two channels right there. But the other converter 
is a 6G converter, and that's designed to be able to convert my 4K HDMI out of my cameras or my iPhone or my iPad, and then I can record into the HyperDeck 4K because I have to convert it to SDI 6G, and that's why I have that bigger converter. So three different converters that I'm using tonight to run my HyperDeck. So two convert our SDI to HDMI, and then one of them converts my HDMI right here that I have hooked into my cam, my phone right now as a camera. It converts it into um, SDI, and that plugs right in the back of my HyperDeck. So the top two are, and this is alpha, this is key, or fill and key. And then below that, which you can't see right now from that angle, but from this angle, the lower SDI is the input, and that's coming out of my 6G converter. HDMI goes in right there, and it comes out SDI right here. And then you have a second SDI as a safety, so you could actually have both of those converted, and you would be able to have a safety measure. If one went down, it would click over immediately to the other one if you were doing a live broadcast. So now one of the things I wanted to say here in this HyperDeck um, recording function is if you haven't checked out the app um, called Mix Effect, um, very soon here in June of 2021, there's going to be a new feature that actually controls the HyperDeck in that, uh, that app, and it'll run on the iPad or on the iPhone, and you can find that on the Apple Store. Again, it's called Mix Effect, and that was designed by Adam Tao, and a shout out to him here in this HyperDeck bonus video. And I'm hoping to do one with him, so stay tuned to this channel and this series on the HyperDeck, and hopefully real soon we'll touch base on those options that you have to control the HyperDeck inside the app called MixFX. So we've talked about recording to it. You can also play videos from the HyperDeck and you can use it as a camera input. And now the HyperDeck does have an HDMI out, but that's to go to a regular monitor. So you don't have to watch the little camera, you can watch the big camera. And um, so, that's it for this quick little video here, a bonus video on the HyperDeck mini series. Again, a live shout out to my live audience because this was recorded live on the June 8th live stream, which was Tuesday at four o'clock right here at Pacific Standard Time. So until the next video, I am Keith and I'll see you then.